Hi, I'm Andy Allen from Winning Trainer, and I'm very pleased to be joined today by James Waddington from Romantica of Devon. He's going to be discussing his upcoming collection at London Bridal Fashion Week. So without further ado, I'd like to hand you over to James. Hi, James. Welcome. Hi, Andy. Thanks for joining us today. Yeah, really well, thank you. Yeah. So I, I know you, you're really busy, aren't you, getting things prepped up, ready for the show uh, next week. So uh, without further ado, I was just going to talk to you about the new collection and what, what kind of uh personal favorites you've got and what you think is going to be uh best sellers this season yeah absolutely we're um we're really excited for london um we've been gearing up for it for quite you know since since christmas really um it's a big part of our kind of selling year and uh yeah it should be great to uh, show off the new collection and we have uh kind of 10 models on two catwalks over the course um of the show for our for you know for all of our brands and so Really, although we can bring all of the gowns into a boutique, to be able to see them on the catwalk, to be able to see girls in them, um, and to be able to see them, kind of on on the stage in lights, is it, you know you get to see the dresses um, in in their kind of most beautiful form. So it's a really nice way of doing things. Yeah, it brings them to life, doesn't it? Absolutely. So the first dress we're going to be looking at is called Jailer. Could you tell us a little bit about the uh, this dress, please? Right. So. I mean, Jail is obviously a, a new gown for London. Um, she's actually a, a new material that we've not worked with before. So the easiest way I can liken it is to, is to actually have it a cross between a crepe and a satin. So she's got that weight of a, of a crepe um, and satin, but also kind of slightly slightly more draping to her. As you can probably see, she, she she's not quite as rigid as a satin gown. Mm -hmm. um, obviously that's been uh, combined with a really, really gorgeous kind of plunge neckline, really simple and elegant. And then those beautiful kind of illusion lace sleeves, which is something that I've not seen before. And I just think, yeah, absolutely yeah. gorgeous. So I think she's a, sure to be a hit. It, it looks really form fitting, doesn't it? And it's like it would be a, ha, give a degree of comfort, but also, um, you know, hold its shape. Absolutely. So we've, um, we've already uh, been to a couple of the small bridal road shows with with the gowns and um and she's been number one so far so she's she's been as popular as we thought she was she's been as popular out with the stores as well so that's a great sign well the next dress we're going to look at is called napoli um could you describe this for us please yeah so absolutely so napoli's here you can see yeah. she's obviously got a, a really nice blush color to her um which really allows the appliques to pop um You'll notice that the, the flowers are kind of a lot more 3D. Um, we just think we've been really concentrating on our detailing and our materials over mm. the last kind of 12 months because we think that's really where a lot of the, the finer touches is, is where a lot of the real beauty in the gowns is. So, mm. yeah, the, the detailing on this gown is absolutely amazing. And, and yeah, you've got to see it up close and personal because she's she's really gorgeous. Yeah, it looks amazing. It looks, it's really nice the way the kind of the, uh, the vine the, the, with the flowers actually just just you know gracefully sort of winds down yeah it's lovely yeah, yeah. it's one of the things you know the, the design team had you know over the last couple of years more time and freedom than, they, than they've ever had to look at new materials new ways of doing things and they've really yeah they've they've really done an amazing job which which hopefully makes my job easier you know yeah <laughs> yeah that's one of the bonuses of the uh, the lockdown i guess people had a bit more time to kind of get creative with some uh, some new ideas Brilliant. Absolutely. Okay, James. So the next dress we're going to look at is called Neve. Could you could you describe this for us, please? Neve, yeah. So Neve's my personal favourite, which doesn't always mean a lot, but but right, sometimes. Well, that's, that's good to hear. <laughs> yeah. So she's got an absolutely gorgeous scoop neckline, uh, which is which is really elegant, and we're seeing that come in quite a lot at the moment. Now it's, she's got the cut out. Uh, kind of darts and under the arms as well uh, on any of our dresses where we've got illusion uh, bodices or darts on the side seams or where we've got kind of plunge necklines all of them can usually be filled in uh, at no extra cost so they're design features that some brides love but obviously other brides don't like as much so it just gives that level of flexibility again you can see though that we've used a different different style of beading um, to what you'd see more mm. often and it's just really modern and contemporary um, and I think combined with the really traditional shape it, it just works really well. 
And so the last dress we were going to discuss today is called Verena. Uh, could you run through a little bit and explain to us a bit about this gown, please? Yeah, absolutely. So again, Verena is just a very classic shape. Um, she's that kind of really, really soft princess ball gown. We've seen since the pandemic, those, those, those shapes have really started kind of slimming down a little bit. Um, right. We think probably because people want to be more comfortable and focus on enjoying their day yeah. rather than rather than kind of um, yeah, not being able to have fun with their friends after after such a funny two years. So again, we've we, we focused on on kind of having that that lightness, that slimness, but also that amazing detailing mm -hmm. and some of that beautiful color really helping some of those appliques to pop. So yeah, another firm favorite from my end. Yeah, it does. It's a gorgeous, uh, gorgeous design, isn't it? Beautiful uh, embellishment. I love the way. Yeah. I love the way it, it, it kind of filters out into the dress. Love the way you've got that effect. Yeah, that cascades really. Um, it's just really elegant. And cascades I think the word I was looking for. That's it. Cascade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, it's lovely. Well, yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing you then, James, at, at um, uh, London Bridal Fashion Week. So, uh, could you tell us about what stand you're on, please? Yeah, absolutely. So um, I believe we're D28 and D30 off the top of my head. We are, you can't miss us as soon as you walk in straight ahead with the fourth stand on the right. Um, we, we we have a bar on the stand, so there's absolutely no reason not to come and stop by at least yep. for a drink. Well, best of luck with the collection, James. I'm sure it'll do really well for you. Um, so I look forward to catching up with you at the show. Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you, James. Best of luck with the, uh, the new collection and I hope all goes well at the show. Perfect. Thanks for your time, Randy. Thanks very much. See you soon. Bye then. Bye.